If you're a gamer, teacher or just want to record your desktop, Focusy is a great choice for you. Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video I will show how to use Focusy. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and let's click Focusy icon for open software. And we have first interface like this. We have three modes for recording. First full screen and or custom and window. Also we can choose here device setups. First webcam. This is my facecam 1000. And microphone. Here is my used microphone and speakers. Also we can see here this is selected by automatic. So right now let's click full screen for recording my full screen. Let's click here and right now again we have interface here, webcam and microphone and speaker. If you want to back to first screen, we can click X for back to here. Okay, let's select again full screen and let's click rec. We have countdown. Okay, so right now recording is out and let's do in someone. Let's create a new folder and open folder. Okay, and for example, let's open paint and let's make something here. Okay, and close. So we can do here pause or we can restart our recording and delete. Okay, let's click stop and waiting for editing software. Okay, so we have very user friendly interface. Let me show how to use it. So first padding, we can change padding for full screen or like this and we can change inset for stroke color. Let's select here other colors, white or red. So let's keep here white color. Okay, and change inset one. Then roughness, let's change roughness. Okay, cool. And then shadow we can change background shadow like this very nice and finally we can change background images or background gradients colors let's for example select this color or this this or these colors and here is we can change colors like this okay very nice and also we can use these gradients but I like these background images. Let's use this. Okay. So let's change padding for full screen and roughness change zero. And we have very easy and user friendly timeline. Let's click play. Okay. So right now we can. Nice. And we can see here some effects. Here is zoom and again zoom. Let's go to here and click play for see how to work these zoom effects. Let's click play. Okay, very nice. And we can delete this FX or we can add other FX. Let's select this zoom and delete. And select this file. We can close audio like this. And let's click play. Okay, that's good. And we can see again new zoom here. Let's click play. For important details, we can use this zoom effect. And let's delete this zoom. So we can change canvas size. For example, this is YouTube and video files. Also we can use for YouTube, for YouTube shorts, TikTok and Twitter landscape and other platforms, Instagram and Facebook. Also we can use these presets. Nice, I like it. And we can use these presets for YouTube Shorts and Instagram Rails, TikToks. So back to original and go to video enhancement. We can change cursor size. Let's change size like this and click play. Nice, funny. And let's change to back. And we can also change style. Let's style change like this. Nice, very good. And let's select this and change size. This is like a 3D effect. Click play. Nice, very good. And let's use this. 
Okay, very nice, funny. So we can change mouse click effect. Let's select this ripple and let's let's see. Nice, we can see a ripple. Or let's change fireworks. Nice. And we can change these buttons for change timeline size. Very nice. Also, I want to say one thing. We can change FX when we play video real time. For example, like this. Or mouse effect. We can change mouse style on real time preview. Very nice. So let me show buttons for timeline. We can use cut with this button. Let's go to here and click for cut and go to here again click cut and we can select and delete after delete we can see videos will attach okay so next button spotlight let's click and we can add here spotlight effect let's see and let's change spotlight size like this okay and click play Nice, let's change cut for better timing. Okay, very nice. Also, let's go to here. And again, we can add here spotlight. And move to here. Change size. And click play okay very nice and let's go to here again we can add zoom effect let's click play or let's go to here and here let's add new zoom effect and we can change zoom effect like this for a long time Okay, that's good. And last button, crop. We can use crop for video like this. Let me show. Let's select here and crop for icon and click apply. And let's click play. And in this time, we can see only this part on our desktop. For go to back, again, click this icon. And let's click this icon for full screen and click apply. For see full screen so guys i was record new video with my webcam and let's first go to here click play for see original video and again let's do this fast change padding for full screen and roughness full screen and let's go to webcam icon and we can select here camera layout let's select this and this is layered for twitch or youtube streamings Let's go to here, click play. Nice, very good. And let's again back to webcam and select this layout. And let's use flip horizontal for move the cam to right. Nice. And camera size, we can change camera size. And camera roughness. For rectangle camera, we can use roughness zero. Or for circle, let's change 50 and mirror camera let's select this for mirror very nice and also we can change camera size during zoom with this button and size here and then filter let's use filter for our webcam let's use natural and cold warm and movie and art black and white let's click play okay that's good and let's back to none and let's open camera frame we can select here camera frames. Let's use emoji frame. Let's click play. Or use gradient. Okay, I like it. And let's use plant or universe. But my favorite frame, gradient. 
and yeah, let's change camera size a little bit okay so let's go to first second and click play nice i like it so guys finally let me show how to export and share first click share we can share video after uploading to jmo cloud you can easily copy link and share it with anyone and we can select here resolution and frame rate for games we can use 16 frame rates for better gameplays after done all edits click upload so let's go to export and we can export to our pc let's select format here mp4 and resolution select full hd and frame rate if you're recording games select 16 fps and file name we can write here Nijat's screen and save to folder let's click here select desktop and click ok then click export here and waiting for exporting so guys after export let's back to desktop and we can see here our video let's see prepared okay first mp4 and that is full hd size and 60 frame rates and let's open video nice very clean and very quality so guys let me show official website Jemo and we can see here products let's go to here and there are other products from Jemo let's open Focusy and we can get here Focusy or see pricing and for learn more we can watch demos and video tutorials and for watch other features you can use this website so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck